Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Matt with Snooks at Home, and today we are going to take a look at another traditional Swedish match snooks. This is Jotoborg's Prima Fint, which would be um, something like, I don't know what this translates into, primary fine or prime fine one. This is a traditional snooze produced by Swedish Match. This used to be, many, many centuries ago, produced by, I believe, uh, Fiedler and Lundgren, the guys who now make Lundgren snooze. Stuff like um, Skåne and um, Norland and things like that. This is notable for two reasons. Number one, it is not in any way, as far as I can tell, related to Jotoborg's Prima Fint, so it's not going to be flavored the same way as a different brand. Jotoborg is just the Swedish name for the city that we would call Gothenburg in English. So it's, uh, the two are, from what I can tell, unrelated. And the second thing is that this is actually a snooze flavored with alcohol. Sherry, to be in fact and a little bit of rum as well. And I want you guys to take a look at this if you can. If not, I'll just go ahead and enlarge it. We have tobacco, we have a humectant, I believe, that's what that would be, salt, a type of carbonate. We have aromas including smoke aroma and sherry with rum. This makes sense. Jotoborg is a big port city, and the history of the, the snooze industry in Jotoborg is that um, same thing with Jotoborg Rappé. Sailors and tradesmen would import tobacco from faraway places, and then they would use whatever else came in on the ships to flavor tobacco with. Sherry and rum, two pretty big imports, especially rum, um, because that is basically currency if you're a sailor in the 19th century. So it makes sense that there would be a traditional snooze with that kind of flavor. This, uh, there is something else about this. I'm not a super big fan because Jotoborg's Prima Fint is a little bit finer than other Swedish match snooses. It's going to be on par with something like uh, uh, Rodelacket. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look here. I haven't had this in a very, very long time. The last time I had this was uh, I went to Sweden and went to a region called Skåne, and they have a a sort of a theme park, historical theme park called Skansen. I I really like that place. They have something called the Snooze and Matchstick Museum, and you go there and you can learn about the history of Swedish snooze, Swedish snooze. And Swedish snooze and matchsticks, and it's a phenomenal little place and sort of a, a grail location for anybody as interested in this stuff as I am. Highly recommend you go if you can get the chance. Let's open it up and see what we're dealing with. On the surface of it, doesn't look too dissimilar from any other Swedish match snooze. I keep saying snooch, or keep being tempted to. But if you look a little bit closer, you can tell that the grains themselves are, like, much finer than the other ones. This is the same with Rotolacket. This stuff is super muddy. I think I have Macmurra still nearby. These are both super duper fresh. This one is a little bit lighter. This one is much glossier, much, much finer. And on this one, you can see little tiny chunks of tobacco almost. It almost looks fluffy, whereas this one has a much more dense, much more muddy look to it. Let me go ahead and put the lids back on here. I don't want this stuff to dry out. And of course, I will see you for the smell of the can and the first pinch on the couch. Before we do that, though, I do want to remind you that I do have things that you can buy to help support the channel. This is Filt. I like using this stuff at work or in places where I can't feasibly use loose snooze. All this is is a little roll your own paper filter spool that you can take and roll your snooze up into a little burrito with, and then it makes a portion pretty easily. You can buy this stuff in the links in the description. It comes from Iceland. Of course, if you don't want this, and I typically don't use loose snooze with a portion pouch, I just pinch it, you don't have to get it. Just having you here with me is enough support. I'll see you on the couch. Hi guys, it is time to try Jotoborg's Prima Fint. Let's have a smell of it first, see if we can smell that sherry, that rum. 
It's very stinky. I, it's not smelling like a fart or anything, but it's 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 pungent in a way that you don't really get from Swedish match looses. It concentrate. There is something vaguely alcoholic about the way that this smells, but it's not alcoholic in the same way that something like, uh... Food can be smelling, if that makes sense. What I'm smelling is... Vanilla, principally. Uh, sort of dialed back vanilla, doesn't quite have the warmth that vanilla would ordinarily have. But it's, uh, it smells like vanilla. It's in there. Tobacco is also there. It smells a little bit like... Like a pound cake. If that makes... If that makes sense. It smells a little bit like a pound cake. Like one of those pound cakes that you get from... Like a Twinkie or something like that. Just a little bit darker. And that's all I think I'm gonna get from from this. It smells sweet, it smells a little bit like vanilla, it smells a little bit like a baked good. It actually doesn't smell too far off from certain Virginia tobaccos, how those smoke, if that makes sense. It doesn't smell like Virginia tobacco in the tin, where that can smell very much like grass and citrus and things like that, but it smells like certain Virginias that I have smoked, the way that that smoke the way that smoke smells. I mean, on that one I got a little bit of fruitiness. There's only one way that this is gonna be about. This stuff is hell to pinch, so I'm gonna bake a Prilla, and I think that'll be my first Prilla baked on these reviews. Ain't nothing to it. This stuff is so moist and so soft. And I know it's gonna be really hard to keep this stuff from mudsliding. Actually, light snooze once it's been exposed to the elements a little bit, with super moist snoozes like this at least, I do, because then they hold on a little bit tighter. Take a look at that, that is like Play-Doh. I'm gonna smush it a little bit. That stuff is like clay. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll deal. Cheers. Very mild, salty. This one is a saltier one. The flavors aren't coming out yet. I can, I can taste, I can like feel the texture of that snooze on my tongue. It's super soft. It's really hard to get anything from from just the initial pinch. So I am gonna come back in about 20 minutes once all the flavors have had time to kind of let themselves be known, and I'll tell you what I think after that. See you soon. I spent 30 minutes with Jotoborg's Prima Fint, and I have to be clear, I do not like it that much for a couple of different reasons, right? It's not that this is a bad snooze, it's just not uh, really to my taste. So the only flavor I'm able to get from this, and it's very, very mild, I should mention, if you were expecting sherry and rum notes in this, sherry, even very, very dry sherries have this... Um, heady raisin quality to them that's very very it's very nice if you haven't had sherry i recommend you pick it up but this has none of that and a lot of rums and this doesn't really smell like a english style rum it doesn't really have that like funk note that like thousands of banana peels all at once type of note that goes on with uh with english rums jamaican rums bahamanian rums things like that this tastes a lot like men's hair conditioner um like, if you're taking a shower and you get just a little bit in your mouth. I used to have hair. I know what that tastes like. I wish it tasted like... Like how it smells, because that is really just a lot more interesting of a taste. The grind is getting mudslidey already. It's, a, it's been about 30 minutes, like I mentioned, so it's really not long enough for a snooze to start doing that. The nicotine is present. It's on par with all of Swedish Match's other offerings, so nothing really crazy there. 
Uh, yeah, it doesn't really have that much salt. There is a weird sweetness to it. It's nothing like Yenaral, where that weird sweet note is half of the snooze. But, uh, it's just a very underwhelming sort of snooze that I'm kind of disappointed in again. And I remember why I never got more, is because after having to go through, you know, 100, 150 grams of that in the Cardus that I got from, from, uh, uh Wisconsin, you don't really want to ever have it again, especially when there's so much other great snooses waiting to be discovered. So, I'll go ahead and close the review out here. Tell me what you think about this snooze down in the description. As always, written full review will come up later at snoozeathome.com up there in the corner. Give it a click. There's a lot of cool stuff to explore over there. Thanks so much. Peace.